So cost estimated £175 million. Pounds. More like £185 because of the l delays. OK, £185. Yeah. Um, you have raised how much privately? Raised, uh, privately? There are 38 uh, committed sponsors. We've raised £69, nearly £70 million. Pounds. Uh, the pipeline is very strong. Right. So I would say, you know, when you look at these images, this is an iconic project, well governed. Yeah. Um, I think it is important to remember the history of this. This was started by Transport for London, and then the Trust took over the project in May 2015. So we've got a very experienced group of trustees. The fundraising has good momentum. And I think inevitably with a project like this, inevitably there's some opposition. Right. Can, I, can I just, on this issue of hmm. momentum, yeah. because last year there was talk of having raised... 85 million privately and I don't understand the discrepancy between what you're saying which is 70 and last year it was 80 I think in this June you referred to 83 your press team told Hannah 63 so there are a lot of figures flying the, the, around the number is 69 point right. you know five so let's million. Call, it so 70, call it 70 call it 70 70 so how was it 80 last year is that no, the 10 we, we, that's we've gone had, away I, I, we've had one or two that have gone away but right. I you know, maybe because of the uncertainty. Actually, one of them was because of a change of chief executive in the company. Mm. But I think it is important to note that the, the project has good momentum on but fundraising. But how does it have momentum? Because actually, to be blunt, it looks like you're moving backwards. I well, mean, no. you, you, you've lost more money over the last year than no. you No, I mean, there have gained. been, you know, look, we, we've satisfied nearly 90 conditions of, for Westminster and Lambeth councils, so, so we're in great momentum, shape. But money-wise, so, no, 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 but no I, momentum money-wise. We've money good momentum on planning, good momentum on our partnership right. with the Secretary of State, the Department of Transport and, and also Transport for London. So they sit at the table of the trust. Mm. I think what I would say with confidence is we as a group of trustees believe we will raise the money. Okay. A lot of the money is anonymous. I mean, no, only five, only it's about five, half, half no, of the, no, no, thirty-eight committed um, sponsors who have signed commitments, right. and they're to not fund. anonymous. They're not anonymous. So we could get but, how much? What? How but, many but, of the thirty-eight would be non-anonymous? But, but a number of them, them, a number of them, will only announce their inclusion as donors when the building work starts. Right. So, so we don't actually, have to worry that there are any conflicts no, of interest. There are no conflicts of interest. There are five donors, uh, which is very... I mean, I've raised money for the Royal Academy, for the Breakthrough right. Breast Cancer, a number of situations where great philanthropists in the UK want their names to, to be out of the limelight. So we do have five anonymous donors. Right, but, but essentially you're saying that... Because it's £40 million at the moment of, of, of anonymous pledge money, as we understand it. it. Well, actually... And, and that's rather a lot, but you're saying that's going to just disappear. Or most it, of it will disappear. disappear. There'll be five donors. Could I also add one other thing, which when people talk about the government sort of contribution, uh, for the 30 million from Transport for London, we are repaying over a longer period, well, 20 million of that. Well, 50 years, I mean, that, that's yeah, not even, that's, well, come on, you're, you're, a, you're but a banker, you I'm know a, that's worthless. I'm a numbers <laughs> man and, you know, <laughs> come on. I, we're also paying back, we, we're, we're, we're being charged VAT, so the government takes it you know, gives us 30 million in one hand and takes it back over 20 million well, of VAT. Look, I, I have to ask you this, because so far you haven't built anything, obviously, and you no. haven't acquired the land at either end of the bridge, and yet I think you've spent £36 million. Pounds. Yeah. That is 20% of the entire cost of the project. That is about what it cost in today's prices to build the Millennium Bridge. So you could build a bridge for the money you've spent, and we've got nothing no, well, to we show have, for because that. to get to planning to get the construction, to get the work with Bouygues, to, to do all the work with Arup, that's hugely expensive. And that's remember not, that that's not even before the... million pounds... No, but £10 million that... pounds were spent uh, by Transport for London before the trust even got it started. So actually, this, the monitoring of the cost... Sorry, so just to be clear, the 36 includes 10 before the trust ever became ever involved. Ever became involved. The 26 has been spent since the trust was created. And we've got Paul Morell, who was the government's construction advisor as a trustee. We've got wide experience of the trust. All of that money has been spent in preparation for, for digging in the Thames and getting the licenses and getting us but, ready. But getting licenses doesn't cost tens no, of but, millions of pounds. Doing the digging in the Thames costs. Look at cost. this. Getting right. this ready, getting the construction, getting the prototypes, getting the design. 
that takes fundraising, money. Fundraising has a lot of it been spent on fundraising. No, no, no. The the actual running costs of the trust and the fundraising has been financed by a family, a private I mean, family. The, the, the facts, as we seem to understand them, are it is going to be a formidable challenge because you don't only have to raise the 185 million uh, minus the public's contribution. There's also the ongoing running cost, and essentially yep. the authorities want to know that you've got the money to run the thing. And you, you, I think you want a pot of 15 million from which you can invest and earn some money to keep it going, right? And that's... We, we've already got some money that's been pledged for an endowment for the running of, of the bridge. But that's but included yes. in the 60, no, the, the no, 70. That's that separate. Approach. That's separate. So, so you've got more money than the 70. We, we, but that's a little bit for the endowment. How much so is in that? I, 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 let's say two or three million that has been pledged. But I think it's important to say we will hold events. We have got planning approval yeah, for that. Not going to pay for no, things. but I mean, there are many ways of raising the money. We, we've had to put, in order to get planning with Lambeth and with Westminster, we had to present and to the government a detailed business case on how the bridge would be maintained and run afterwards. Mm. So all we need to do, we've done the planning. We now need to uh, do a deal with Coin Street, which is the to get the land, the, to on get the land yeah. and then we're there. Mm. And, well, and, the, and the rest of the money, and the, and the, the government. Money. Yeah, but I, but I'm repeating, we as a group think, of trustees are very confident that we can get I, the money. I wonder, I wonder when we look at a thing like, a project like this, because it just attracts people to say the procurement was, was very strange and we won't go into that now. The money is, people object to the money, there are people who don't like the design. That if the country wants projects like this, you basically have to break a, a few eggs in order to create an omelette. And if that means riding roughshod over to be the procurement, riding roughshod over the procurement rules, so be it. No, if that no, means, no. You know, being a bit optimistic in the appraisals to get the money out of the government, so be it. I mean, that, that is the truth of it, isn't no, it? No, it's not. I mean, you know, look, I've been a bank CEO and chairman, I've been a government minister. We, you've got to have proper process, good governance. You've got to have the right skills at the trustee level, which we have. And then I think you've got to be very resilient. This is an iconic project. I think it's just wonderful for Britain. It does sum up what's great about Britain. And it's creative, it's imaginative. And I think on an evening like this in London, visitors, Londoners, walking across a bridge which has got 27,000 perennials, 270 trees, you know, it, would, it will it be, be nice. magical. Not nice, magical. 2018 or 2019? Probably 2019. 19.